Today, you'll learn how to get a free domain name using a service called freenom.com. Now, you can combine this method with any of my free hosting tutorials to get a free domain with free web hosting, so completely free websites. So in this example, I'll get ideatutorial.cf running on free hosting with a SSL certificate all for free. Um, so if all this sounds interesting, then keep watching. First step, we head to freenom.com. We put a domain in here. Now I'm going to use ideatutorial.cf for this example. Now there are certain extensions that can be used for free. So these are the ones you can use for free. So .tk, ML, GA, CF, and GQ. So any of those can be registered for free here. So I'm going to use that one, ideatutorial.cf. Let's check the availability. And hopefully that one is green. It's available. Let's go to the checkout. And we can see it's possible to register this one for free. So we can go up to 12 months free, but longer than 12 months, you do need to pay, but um, we can get that first 12 months free there. So go ahead. You can go ahead and put a email address in here if you're not already registered on the site and click verify. You'll need to get the verification from your email. So go ahead and check your email. You'll get an email that looks like this. You can go ahead and follow that link. That's going to bring you here where you can review and check out. You just need to fill in this form. So go ahead and fill that out. Um, you need to agree to the terms, make a nice strong password here and complete the order. You'll get a confirmation there and we can go to our client area here. Now we can head over to services and my domains. You'll get prompted to sign back in with the email and password that we choose previously and click remember me and log in. And now we can click manage domain. Now we can actually point this domain to a website. So I'm gonna use the Freenom DNS to do this. All right, I've already got a website set up for Idea Tutorial CF over on this IP address, and we're going to uh, use that domain in here, and we're going to save that in. So that looks all good. If you're curious about how I set this website up, this is actually a free website set up um, using this tutorial on Oracle's free tier, but there's several ways to set up free websites. You could probably use these domains with any of the methods I put in my top six free web hosting video uh, that I published a few months ago. The other thing we can do here is a www record. We can point that to the same IP address and save that on as well. Now, it will take some time before this domain starts working with this IP. So we can actually check the progress over at dnschecker.org. We can put the domain in there and hit search. And we could see um, a few places have already picked up the new IP address for this domain. But we do need to wait about 15 minutes before we can really use this domain. So I'm going to go have some coffee and come back in a minute. All right, so after a few minutes, we can see our domain is pointing to our IP address right around the world. And if we head over to ideatutorial.cf, we can see our demo page is on here just fine. Now that this is working, we can try adding the SSL padlock to the domain as well. So I'm going to head back to my hosting here, enable SSL. I'm going to use the Let's Encrypt free certificate as well. So once we've done that, we can click Save. Again, check out my Hestia control panel tutorial because this is free to set up if you're interested in setting it up like this. So this does take a minute, so be patient while that issues the certificate. And that looks like it's all good. And so after a second, we can see we've got our padlock here after we refresh the page. So that looks awesome. Sometimes it won't work straight away, so you might want to uh, just wait a second or uh, restart your browser. That can help when you've got a new SSL certificate. But uh, mine worked quite quickly here, so that looks all good. So that wraps it up. We've got free domain, free hosting, and free SSL. I'll put those other tutorials up at the end of this video so you can check those out out but that's how you do it with a free domain now i don't actually recommend using free domain so make sure you hit subscribe check out my next video where i talk about why you should never really use free domains for anything serious so check that one out but thanks for watching i'll see you next time